I had about, you know, at best maybe 18 months to live. You know, I was out of out of hope at that point. You know, there was there was nothing left to do except try this new clinical trial. My name is Philip. I was diagnosed with kidney cancer July of 2012. <laughs> My wife made me go to the doctor. I was feeling really tired and just lethargic and just really just, uh, I'd come home and crash. I had signs of varicose veins in my right leg. I had pain in my left testicle, high blood pressure, which I've never had. And then I guess the, the deciding factor was blood in my urine. Susan basically pulled me up on a Monday morning, said, you're going to the doctor. After pushing around on my abdomen for quite a bit, they said, well, that's not supposed to be there. I was kind of in shock, I guess, a little bit. Susan kind of took it worse than I did. Went into the um, CT scan and they found a 3.8 pound tumor on my kidney. The doctor then explained to us that what I had was renal cell carcinoma, or an RCC, uh, kidney cancer. The initial steps we took after we discovered the tumor was surgery to remove the tumor. Everything was looking fine after the surgery. I went back to work. I was feeling pretty good, traveling a little bit, and I went in for a scan and they found a second tumor that had kind of wrapped around my adrenal gland. It was uh, on my vena cava and kind of moving down into my liver. I had to develop a blood clot, which kind of put back the surgery until 2013. At that point, they opened me back up again. They told me that they couldn't remove the tumor because it had wrapped around, like I said, my vena cava and moving into my liver. So we were gonna have to have another option, which would have been chemo at that point. We just thought there had to be a better way. My wife was on the phone, emailing, you know, asking questions and, uh, you know, just trying to find a better answer than, you know, traditional chemo. My wife and some friends found MD Anderson and, and uh, we went down and talked to the surgeon there and our oncologist, Dr. Tanier. That's how we discovered the Opdivo treatment. He said there, there was a, a new drug out there that doesn't have a name, it was a number. He said, uh, we're gonna try to get you on it. And it basically takes your immune system and turns it on to fight the cancer. After the first three months to Hear Dr. Tanier said, well, the tumor's reduced by 30%. You know, my wife and I are like, holy wow. <laughs> you know, it's, that is awesome. Each time we went back and I had scans done, the, the tumor had reduced quite a bit. I could feel, you know, my body getting stronger. You know, I had more energy, I was active. I was putting on weight again. <laughs> my doctor wanted me to gain weight. My spirit started lifting, you know, with each, with each scan, um, in each treatment, you know, it was, it was kind of like I was going in to do battle with this tumor. Now after three years, it was three years in March, I came off Opdivo, nivolumab, and I've, the tumor has basically disappeared. I'm doing fine, I'm working, back at work, we're traveling, just enjoying life. I would really like to stress that there needs to be more funding for these types of drugs, for immunotherapy drugs. You know, I'm living proof that the drug works and, you know, if it can work for me, you know, it can work for anybody, you know, and I, I just would like to see cancer eradicated at some point in my lifetime.